Hey folks, it's Masterpiece, and today I got another vintage collection review. Today it's going to be Moff Jerrod from uh, The Return of the Jedi. These officers that they've been releasing are really good in my opinion. I have really like the first release of Kiet. I think they did a phenomenal job with that. You know, it's a good thing that we have this body mold because now we could just keep using the same body mold and doing different officers. So we could do Yalaren, we could do uh, Krennic, which is one that I really want to get my hands on and I hope that they release it soon. And they could even reissue uh, Grand Moff Tarkin in this new body because the old one was not that good uh, the skirt that was soft goods just it literally looked like a skirt it didn't look like uh, anything like this where it's actually a part of the top of the shirt here so i'm really glad that uh this body mold came out as good as it did but moff jerrod from return the return of the jedi there's a card back image Really good card and card back image of him. It's on the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi logo on the top left there. He only comes with his blaster. I think that's the same blaster that uh, Admiral Piet came with. This is VC 284. All right, he's out of the package. He's looking awesome. I wanted to basically compare this one with Piet, but let's start with the blaster pistol. I'm honestly not familiar with that blaster pistol. First time I seen it was with Piet and uh, I didn't care too much for it. There's not even a holster uh, to go with these guys, which, you know, isn't that big of a deal to me, but with articulation should be the same. Rocker ankle, knee, uh, thigh swivel, and barbell hip. Core has really good articulation, arm, elbow. head could look up that much and down that much his hat is removable that's what he looks like without the hat some fans have complained that uh, the hat is it looks too big, I think it's fine. But what do you guys think? I don't know, it doesn't bother me. The skirt has two cuts on the bottom of both sides, so if you wanna sit them down, it's not really gonna get in the way, which is nice. It's like this very soft plastic, rubbery plastic. So you should have no issues with that. Here is Piet. And one of the main differences that you could see here is my mind is blanking right now, but Piet has, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like a pen. Um, he only has one in one of those side pockets whereas the other one he doesn't i think those are like clearance codes or i can't remember what they call them this guy has two one over here and one on the other side for his rank badge it looks the same as piet same colored outfits obviously same blaster Yeah, it looks great. Let me pose him up.
So I like the fact that uh, Hasbro is deciding to release more officers. There is the four pack that's going to come out at some point uh, later this year. I believe it's going to be like in December or something like that. Or maybe even July of next year. But the fact that we're getting more officers is great. I can't wait for Krennic. Uh, it leaves a lot of great opportunities to make more different officers we need more female officers too now so we could get Dedra Miro in the vintage collection line that would be amazing but uh, what do you guys think of Moff Jerjerod in vintage collection let me know in the let me know in the comment section down below and that's gonna be it for this video so I'll see you guys in the next one peace